Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Today I'll be trying the ink smooshing technique. This is a technique that I've always liked but was a bit of scared to to try it. So today I'm experimenting a bit. I am working on a craft cardstock. This is the Nina Desert Storm craft cardstock in 110 pound. It is not a watercolor cardstock and I chose this heavier one to avoid as much as I can the warping as I will be adding water. I am using my Distress inks, these are the mini ink pads and I've picked some colors in a full palette. I have everything listed below and also on my blog. I spritz a bit of water and I am using a piece of acetate to pick that color and smoosh it right on my card base. Uh, I am a bit um, clumsy <laughs> if you can notice that. but. Um, what you have to do is just press where you want the color to, to be applied. I sometimes bend my piece of acetate so I can um, press only on the top side or the bottom side and not on the whole surface because I didn't want that ink to spread all over the card. I started with the candied apple. This is a beautiful red color and then I moved to carved pumpkin, a very bright orange. The third color that I've applied is Wild Honey and the last one is a beautiful brown ink and it's called Brushed Corduroy. I think these colors are great for a fall theme card and also look gorgeous on this craft card stack. I never tried uh, using Distress inks on a colored card stack but uh, I really really like how this came out. I then used my craft tool to speed up the drying process and that made my cardstock warp a bit. I then used a bit of white paint and this is the Picket Fence Distress Paint because I wanted to add some splatters here and there. I do have a big blob there but I don't mind because it just adds to the texture and the organic, organic feel of uh, this card. I also splattered a bit of some gold as I think it worked pretty well with the color that, uh, that I have. For the rest of my card I use this stamp set from Simon Says and this is called One With Nature. It's one of my favorite stamp sets from Simon and I think it was released last year. I am using a piece of vellum to stamp and emboss two of the trees from the set and once again I am applying the sparkle gold glitter embossing powder from WOW. This is a gorgeous embossing powder that has a bit of sparkle and you can probably see it here. I then use my scissors to go trim both the trees and I try to leave a border all around just to have a bit of more of that vellum showing there. To adhere my trees I am using a bit of multimedia matte. This is a strong glue that dries matte and with the help of that uh, applicator, that fine tip applicator, I was able to apply the glue behind those fine lines that the stamp has. You can also use a fine tip brush to apply the glue if you have such fine and thin lines like the ones that this stamp has. I put my acrylic block on top just to give a couple of seconds for that glue to adhere on my cardstock. It only takes a couple of seconds for the glue to dry. For my sentiment I am using another stamp from Simon Says. I believe this one is discontinued but uh, you can use any stamp that uh, you have. And I am using my Misty to double stamp the sentiment because I wanted a brown, a darker brown for my sentiment and the one that I have is bit of uh, reddish brown. It is the art print brown from Hero Arts and with the help of my Misty I was able to double stamp my sentiment and have it perfectly stamped in the right same spot. I'm also making sure that my stamps are straight and you can align your stamps with the grid from the Misty and that's very helpful. I thought that a bit of twine would work great with the feel of this card, so I've brought in a bit of Mayart's uh, twine. This is a natural twine, 
and I just wrapped it around my card a couple of times and tied everything in a bow I didn't place any adhesive on the back of this twine I just let it loose but you can definitely adhere other, either another panel of cardstock on the inside or some clear adhesive so that twine doesn't move to finish my card I adhered some gold sequins this is a mix from Simon Says and it's called Sparkle and Shine and once again used the multimedia mat to adhere the sequins I just adhere them in a vi virtual triangle that's how I find that it's more easier to display sequins on, on my cards and just because I wanted a bit of more of that white I use my white gel pen and draw some dots here and there and that finishes the project for today I hope you found this helpful and that you can try the smooshing technique thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon bye bye